further part of the uh, call to order, since it's our first uh, official board meeting of the year, uh, I'm going to ask uh, Director Murray to say a few words. Thank you, Chair Motz. First, on behalf of the senior team, we would like to welcome everyone back and take a moment to extend a big thank you to our many Blue Water District School Board staff who work so diligently to get our schools ready to receive our students and staff. In fact, our enrollment appears to be up substantially over the projections and particularly in our elementary schools all across the board, which is great news. And we wholeheartedly thank and welcome the many new students and their families who chose Blue Water District School Board. Before I highlight some of the many things that we are looking forward to this year, I'd like to take the opportunity to acknowledge that our Board of Trustees are entering the fourth year of their mandate and share with you the legacy that you are creating in Blue Water District School Board. You have demonstrated good governance in multiple ways over the past three years, and that includes modeling effective district leadership through high expectations and accountability for yourselves and senior staff, by adhering to a clear code of conduct and bylaws. Adhering to the board's four strategic priorities that are well aligned with the provincial educational mandate through your policy development and review. Maintaining our commitment to preparing our students today for the world of tomorrow. Creating equitable access to learning and success for all of our students, especially our most vulnerable students your commitment to student and staff well-being, Indigenous education, and keeping our students and staff on the good path, and implementing many of the Truth and Reconciliation education recommendations, your commitment to outdoor education, to the reinvestment in our school budgets and resources, your commitment to high levels of achievement in literacy and mathematics, to our community partnerships, to balanced budgets, by reducing deficits and building our reserves. Your commitment to arts programming, technology and innovation, and the health and safety of our students and staff. Your ongoing commitment to special education support, to the importance of student voice, parent engagement, the power of rural education, and the strong Blue Water representation that you continue to have at the provincial level in, or in associations such as the Ontario Public School Trustees Association. And your effective communication and promotion of quality education offered in Blue Water District School Board schools. And finally, managing the stewardship of our publicly funded resources by aligning your decisions to reduce our liabilities and meet our compliance obligations are putting us on a path to long-term financial stability and reinvestment in our schools. As we continue our positive work together this year, your legacy of strong leadership, thoughtful decisions, and commitment to public rural education is building our collective capacity to meet the needs of our over 16,000 students, 3,000 permanent and occasional staff, and the many hundreds of families and community partners that make Blue Water District School Board so great. Many people don't realize that how much activity actually goes on in our, in our board during July and August. This includes school renovations and renewal work, keeping our facility properly maintained, clean and safe, upgrading our upgrades to our uh, technology systems and equipment, the delivery of summer programs, managing school transportation changes, accommodating public inquiries, and a broad range of human resources, community education, and finance and payroll functions. We truly appreciate all their efforts to keep our system operating efficiently. The arrival of a new school year always brings fresh starts and exciting opportunities for our students, staff, and their families. We all, students and staff, have reintroduced ourselves to the routines and schedules that make new, new school years um, so exciting. Students are getting to know new teachers and support staff in their schools. They are reconnecting with their classmates and making new friends. They are wide-eyed and full of energy, and they're ready to learn. They are showing off their new clothes and their school supplies, and this includes our staff as well. 
The halls of our schools are alive with activity these past couple of weeks and will continue to be for many weeks to come. I was at East Ridge Community School on the first day of school as students were arriving and I watched the faces of the students and their proud parents as they unloaded from the buses. The staff did an amazing job connecting students and teachers and setting them up for a successful day. This scene was repeated at our schools across the district. We extend a huge thank you to all the parents who registered their children in Blue Water Schools this year. They can be confident that their children are receiving a quality education in a safe and caring environment. There are many positive things to celebrate and to be proud of in Blue Water as we begin 2017-18. As we welcome a brand new group of kindergarten age learners, the graduating class of 2032, who get to experience our school system for the first time and the many of our senior students who will be the graduating class of 2018, as they prepare for the final stretch and consider their chosen pathways following graduation. We look forward to following the progress of the new school builds in Hanover and Meaford and the establishment of new learning cultures as some of our long-standing school communities join together to set down roots in different facilities. We are applying for funding to build new schools and renovate some of our existing schools. We are forging new partnerships with community leaders that will enhance the opportunities for our students. For the first time in a number of years, our board is operating from a stronger financial position, which signals a significant step forward on the path to long-term sustainability and, sustainability and stability. As our financial flexibility grows, so do the opportunities to reinvest in enhanced programming for our students. The future looks bright in blue water. We look forward to offering additional staff support for students with intensive special education needs, English as a second language learners, and students requiring support related to speech and language and psychological assessments, and the continued effective administration of our school offices. Added supports will also ensure that schools remain safe and clean. Over the next school year, we will be building on our vision of preparing our students today for the world of tomorrow. We will focus on ensuring that the well-being of our students and staff, quality instruction, parent engagement, and responsible use of our resources are at the forefront of our decision making. I have little doubt that our students and staff will continue to exemplify the high levels of excellence that is cultivated in Blue Water. In 2016 and 17, our board enjoyed a vast array of well-documented student and staff accomplishments locally, provincially, nationally, and even internationally in areas ranging from public speaking to athletics to science and the skilled trades. The senior team looks forward to working collaboratively with trustees, staff, students, parents and families, volunteers, education partners and our local communities in the coming months to not only build on our successes but also to embrace our challenges as well. I would like to echo the comments made recently by Pat Gilson, Director of the Ontario Federation of Agriculture, in an online article called The Challenges of Getting Back to School in Rural Ontario. He said, today's students and youth are the future of these vibrant communities. What rural Ontario students need today are local, secure schools in their community and reliable, affordable broadband. These are just a few of the basic tools our province can provide to the next generation. And the OFA is behind this call to support the students in our rural communities all the way. As I've stated in the past, we are stronger when we work together to create strong rural communities and sustainable futures for our children. Blue Water District School Board will be a strong advocate and voice for sustainable rural education, along with the 15 municipalities, two First Nations, and multiple community partners in Bruce and Gray counties. Please accept our best wishes for a successful and productive year ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Director Murray. Um, it's going to be an exciting year. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's, uh, we have a good team. I think we know how to play our positions, and I think we're going to work really well, and uh, the students in Blue Water are going to really benefit from this coming year. So thank you for your work.